Hello, everybody. Welcome to Elite Wine TV. I am your host, Mark Fusco. Welcome to another uh, episode of Elite Wine TV. So, <clears throat> Son of a Beach. That's what we're having today. It's 2005 Son of a Beach Chardonnay from the Central Coast of uh, California. Central Coast is uh, really almost the entire middle coast of uh, California. So these wines can come from anywhere in the area. And uh, we're going to check it out here. I'm hoping this would be a great beach wine, since it's called Son of a Beach. And uh, we'll see how it goes. H-E-B, got the regular H-E-B for $5.58. So let's check it out. So, on the nose, getting some kind, I guess a bit of creaminess, I don't know, I'm getting kind of some, some fruit, but nothing really specific on it. See how it tastes. Maybe I'll get something off the uh, off the palate. Which way is the beach? Anyway, um, actually the beach is really, from where I'm sitting, the beach is actually kind of that away. But anyway. get much out of this thing um, it's kind of boring it's uh, I don't know I just kind of taste like alcohol you know and, and uh, not really much flavor wise it's it's kind of it's kind of hot on the palate as far as the alcohol and um, it's a little bit of acid to it so this may not be uh, an oaked wine. I'm, I'm really just kind of getting nothing out of it. It's just kind of really plain. Maybe if it was chilled, it might be kind of cool. I mean, it's 558. I I I I don't know. I. I don't like it at all. I mean, I don't even know if we're going to, well, I'll probably drink it just to drink it so I can really get this wine under my, you know, on my palate and I can really identify it again, but I'd probably dump it. I'm going to give it a 70. It's bad. I wouldn't buy it again. I mean, if I was out on the beach drinking this, I, I, I'd probably rather drink the seawater. Um, yeah, it's... No. Nah. I don't like it. I, I, there's nothing... I don't know. Um, Alright, so... I'm going to talk about this because... Uh, this was also frustrating today. I cannot find a thing on this wine other than a mention on snooth.com. And they gave it a 3 out of 5 wine glasses. I, I'd probably give it a 2 out of 5. Uh, other than uh, confirming that the back of the label says they're owned by the Wine World Estates, and you can't find anything out on that other than there's some investment. They were, they were started by an investment group, the Silver. Uh, um, uh, uh, I can't remember the name of that group now. Silvador, something like that. 
and uh, they're a distributor too. They distribute other wines. So I'm guessing that they they distribute this, and this is some small winery. And I really feel bad that I'm giving it a bad thing, but you know what? Uh, wineries and, and distribution groups get a website. Come on, this isn't like it's 1997, 1996, 95 when businesses didn't believe in the internet. <laughs> Have a website, at least. I'm not saying get a Twitter account. Have a website. There's nothing. Like, I found a 10-year-old, I'm sorry, I found a report from 1995 that was a, a some type of article about how Nestle used to own this, uh, not this brand, but the Wine World Estates and how they got sold to the uh, Silvador Group or whatever it is. So, yeah, I wouldn't buy it again. I don't know. I just, I'm really disappointed. Seventy. I mean, I think I don't think I've. I don't know. Got nothing. Anyway, so I was having more fun being dressed up like I was at the beach. Anyway, uh, I was had high hopes for this. So click me up, friend me up on Twitter, Facebook, uh, send me emails. Um, Summer in School is going to be on summer um, summer hiatus until the beginning of September. Uh, so, uh, but still, this is a perfect time for you to catch up on that. So click the link up there for Summer in School. If you're not watching this on the website, you got to get to the website to do all this other stuff. Um, and uh, we're in episode 44. We're not far away from number 50. That's going to be about two weeks at three three weeks. So. I don't know what I'm going to do for 50 yet, anything special. But uh, thanks, for, thanks for stopping in, thanks for watching, thanks for friending me up, and we'll see everybody again next time.